Hello everyone, Chris Gambit here, Editor-in-Chief of The Fablographer, and today I'm bringing you yet another tutorial. And this tutorial is in Capture One Pro 11, and it's designed for people that are trying to move over from Lightroom over to Capture One. So, something that has been confusing a lot of people is how to actually export an image with a watermark on it. Now, the logical thing, at least in the mind of someone moving from Lightroom over to Capture One, in order to export, you would go to File, and you would say Export Images, and you would go to Variants. And you would export this way, you would name, and all that stuff. But the problem is, look over here in Metadata and Adjustments and File, you don't have the option to actually add a watermark. Now, watermarks... Some people may say, oh, they're not really important to you, but there are a number of photographers that actually do want to watermark their images. So how do you do that in Capture One? You actually used to be able to do it over here, but they took that feature out, and apparently from what I've talked with uh, the Capture One reps about, they're working on and considering bringing that back into the features. So what you do, you go over here. Now this is called Output and you have process recipes. If you don't have this little logo thing here, then you can add the tool just by right clicking and then adding it. So you have a number of process recipes, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create another one. I'm gonna call it um, Fobolographer Video Process Recipe Test. So okay, I have that right there. And now I'm creating a brand new recipe. So I'm looking at my options. I don't want to export as a TIFF. I want to export as a JPEG. I want 100% quality. Do I want the scale to be fixed? I could, but instead what I actually like doing is I like exporting to a thousand pixels usually on the long side. So I'll, I'll be fine with 1500. That's no problem at all. So now I can go to file and I can pick certain things. I'm okay with that. Adjustments, I'm okay with that. Metadata, I'm perfectly okay with that. And then my watermark. My watermark is really what I care about. And I do an image usually. So I'm going to grab an image of Fobolographer logo. I have it ready over here. I'm going to take this PNG file. And as you see, it's smack dab in the middle. I don't want it to be smack dab in the middle, though. So I'm going to greatly change the size of this. Actually, this one's too large. So I'm going to choose another one instead. So I have a number of logos that have been pre-prepared. Logo. Photographer logo. I'm going to choose this one. Let's see if that one is good enough. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I don't want it right in center. And I actually want the opacity to be a little bit lower. Plus, I want it in the bottom right-hand side. So, I'm putting it over here, just like so. Now, the logo is set. And that's really what I want. So, now, let's look at the rest. Uh, the size is fine. Scale is fine. Uh, that file size is more than good enough for the web. So I'm going to choose my output folder. And for the moment, I've chosen export for video. So I'm going to go into here. And I do want that one. Okay. So no problems. And now I hit process. But actually, let's select a bunch of images. And then, so for my naming, oh yeah, that's actually very important. So I have a couple of presets here that I've set up before, but I'm going to choose my name. So the Fablographer exports for Capture One Video Process says watermark. I like making things redundant if I can. And now I say process. And now it's going to process the images. And I believe they're all done. Let's take a look. Finder. And now let's see. And now exports for video. Process recipe. No, it's only done one. Now let's say you want to export a bunch of images at a time. What you can do is you can add a tool called the batch tool. And now the batch tool 
lets you actually go ahead and say these and now you can export that way process 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 so now it's doing all of them no problems and now when I go into finder again I will be able to see that this all these images have now been processed no problems and yeah that's how you go ahead and you do it in capture one is it a little bit more complicated yeah do I like it honestly I don't like it but hopefully capture one will change this uh, especially if they want to bring more people over from Lightroom into capture one all right guys that's really about it uh, thanks a lot I hope this video was helpful and uh, yeah, guys, take care.